New information, Comet Apophis 99942, often referenced as the God of Chaos, which goes back pre-Egypt. And there's hieroglyphs depicting the God of Chaos. And I'll tell you what, this asteroid, the modern symbol of Apophis, looks eerily similar to an ancient hieroglyph of Apophis. It's fascinating. So Friday the 13th, 2029 is when it's supposed to reach its closest point to Earth. And the most recent article from Live Science, I'm just going to give you a quick excerpt here. God of Chaos asteroid may be transformed by tremors and landslides during a 2029 flyby of Earth, study finds. The Earth's gravity in conjunction with the gravity of Apophis may cause triggers, tremors, landslides that completely change the surface of the asteroid. Landslides, tremors may transform the asteroid Apophis during its 2029 brush with Earth. The study is currently available, and it's been accepted for publication in the Planetary Science Journal. Uh, the Cornell University Shaking and Tumbling Short and Long Time Scale Me Mechanisms for Resurfacing of Near-Earth Asteroid Surfaces from Planetary Tides and Predictions for the 2029 Earth Encounter by 99942 Apophis. That's a mouthful. So I'm going to leave all the links in the video description box. I'm also going to share with you, we're going to look at the latest orbital projections. And I just find it very interesting. The date, the 2030 time scale, how much in the media and in the government and the United Nations, et cetera, is pushing this 2030 time scale for... Hmm. I guess you could use the term build back better. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. But are they are they seeing something with this asteroid? They say that the updated orbits are showing that it will not strike Earth. But with all of the gravitational influxes, and I mean, I don't know. I'm not convinced. I'm not gonna bring in my I'm not gonna bring in my tomato plant yet, but I'm certainly not convinced. And I'm gonna ask Shondell what he thinks about this. Shondell Navajo. Shaman, awesome guy. You can call him uh, like the, the code whisperer. Well, he's going to be on the program here in a little bit. I'm going to ask him about the Navajo prophecies of asteroids and possibly Apophis if there's a connection there. So definitely want to listen to that in full on Patreon. Just uploaded some awesome content on Patreon. If you want to listen to an exclusive with Chief Robert Johnson uh, before he passed, he actually knew Admiral Byrd quite well. He went on several expeditions to Antarctica. I have that phone conversation available on Patreon. Also, uh, interview I just did with Brad Olson, the full interviews up there, as well as with David Dubine and a plethora of podcasts. But let's take a look at these orbits and these trajectories here, the recent uploads. And I mean, the size of Apophis is massive. So Apophis is about the size of the Empire State Building, which is pretty interesting. I'll show you a couple of, let's take a look at this. It's larger than the Empire State Building. I wonder what the megaton, like if you were to measure an impact, if Apophis does hit Earth, what would the megaton equivalent be? Just wondering. Here's the response from the Planetary Society. They estimate that Apophis was to hit Earth. It could release energy equivalent to more than a thousand megatons of TNT, which is equivalent to the detonation of tens or even hundreds of nuclear weapons. This could spread devastation across a radius of hundreds of miles. Space.com. This is the common trend where progressively, you can see that they've updated this several times already. The initial error, the later more accurate prediction, and then the still more accurate prediction. So are there going to be even more accurate predictions? It seems to get closer and closer. Time will tell. This is a hypothetical risk corridor for an impact on Friday the 13th, 2029, and this is based on the 2021-2020 planetary defense exercise. This is the Goldstone Green Bank radar images of Apophis. Look at that detail. I wonder how many hundreds of millions of dollars that cost. This is a hypothetical graphical depiction of Apophis from the DAMIT model. This spooks me out a little bit, okay? I got to say, this is a recent 
rendering of Apophis. I don't know who Kwame Kagami is, but this looks an awful lot like the Apep, god of chaos, from the 19th dynasty over 3,000 years ago. The tome of Ramses I, and you have Atum facing Apep, the god of chaos. Now, is this asterisk supposed to be Earth and the Apophis right here? Very interesting. In this episode, we dive into the latest revelations about Comet Apophis, the so-called god of chaos, set to make its closest approach to Earth for Friday the 13th. Aimed after an ancient Egyptian deity of darkness and destruction, Apophis has scientists on their toes as new models continually update its trajectory, making us wonder just how close will it come. We'll explore the origins behind this asteroid's ominous name, the potential for surface transformations during its 2029 flyby, and why astronomers insist it's critical to stay informed and prepared, just in case. Join us as we unravel the science, history, and mystery of Apophis and discuss why. When it comes to cosmic encounters, it's always best to be prepared, not scared. An updated version recreated in 2024 using ESA's new Flyby visualization tool, part of our publicly available Neo Toolkit. Original text from 2021 below. On Friday, 13 April 2029, the infamous asteroid Apophis will make a close approach of Earth, passing at a distance less than 30 miles. It will be visible to the naked eye. At this distance, Earth's gravity will have a notable impact on the passing space rock, altering its path and amplifying the uncertainty in its orbit. Until recently, there was a small chance that this close approach could nudge Apophis into a dangerous new orbit in which the 350M asteroid could strike Earth in a future journey around the Sun. Fortunately, recent radar observations reduced the uncertainty in Apophis's trajectory to such an extent that even with the orbit-altering effects of the upcoming 2029 flyby, any chance of impact in 2068 or long after are ruled out. So I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Hit that bell. Be well. Leave your comments in the comment section. Be the change you want to see. Be excellent to each other.